what's up? We're allies. You didn't know? We're allies with the L's, the G's, the B's, the Q's, the T's, the Jews, the Blacks. We're allies, bro. What up, Arabs? You feel that power, bro? Like, if we did that in Jerusalem, everyone would have been like, all right, all right. Let them cook. Let them cook. Yeah, white bread for Subway. We're gonna make it a Big Mac inside of this. Look at all that beef we got. Look at all that Big Mac sauce we got. Tons of bacon. This right here, they call this a Big Mac. Honestly, I don't think it's big enough. And with inflation and prices of food rising, this costs $10 Canadian. I don't know what you people in America are paying, but definitely a little less than us. So here today, we wanna f the Big Mac up. Do what we do best in the kitchen. Combine, improve, genetically manipulate the code of the food. So we got two Subway baguettes. We got enough Big Mac sauce to fill up a normal size bowl. But we got our own custom ingredients. This deconstructed Big Mac sauce right here because we're making a Big Mac sauce. Got all this cheese to make a custom cheese slice. And of course, the bacon. Because there's no wrong way to eat a Big Mac, whether it has bacon on it or not. We're gonna try and enjoy all this today. We're gonna try and have a good time. We're not gonna get caught up on the fact that I'm still in this boxing nightmare. I thought you had to fight two people now. What do you mean? He's almost two people. Yeah, he's almost two people. We're not even gonna think about that. We're just gonna try and enjoy this meal, have a good time. You got it. He's 43, man. No offense. I mean, everyone gets old, I'm almost 40, but if you're like 43 or something, it's cool. Don't worry, you still. <laughs> Unless you have kids and a wife, then I'm so sorry. I don't mean, maybe all that's cut. Don't, don't put that in there. First things first, let's get the meats in the oven. Then when the meats are in the oven, that gives us time to play with our cheese sauce, our Big Mac sauce. Oh, we got something fun for you today, you'll see. He might not know what's coming, but something's I coming. I don't know. I actually don't know what's coming. There's gonna be a surprise for me. A surprise for you too. Better hit that like button. You know, we've been dropping a podcast every single Monday. Binge Eater Podcast, been going on for months now. Amir's gonna be our first guest on the show. Can't wait. Are you, have you been listening to the Epic Mealtime Podcast? It's actually better than impulsive. I think I shot this last week. Bacon leg? You see, we can't cheat. Last week I was wearing a blue Jurassic Park shirt. This week I'm wearing a red one. I can't believe we're in the era of Jurassic Park every week for you. Every time I see you, Jurassic Park. All the time, every time. It's my favorite brand. Favorite brand of clothes is Jurassic Park. <laughs> no, it's just the, the, the logo. It's like iconic. I should probably get a Jurassic Park tattoo before I die. Eric, if you're listening, with each of these strips being slowly removed from the slab, maybe some like, high-end opera symphony sh Maybe, I don't know, your call. This right here is the special what we're about to do. We got that G Fuel shiny splash. We got G Fuel mango explosion. G Fuel divine peach with the boy on it and tiger blood. I'm really curious, like the color patterns are beautiful. The smells here, the fruity, fruity smells. This is that G Fuel fruity pebble bacon sh boy. Head over to gfuel.com, use code EPIC. You get up to 30% off your order. You can get G Fuel Energy Vitamin Shop also. Many locations in the US. Ooh, it's gonna start smelling like G Fuel in here. Boom, Big Mac meat. At McDonald's, they call it the rag meat. They do season it, they tap it, they give it a little, they get a little tap from their special container. And honestly, salting your meat can really change your life. I still have leftovers from the last sandwich. No. It's so good. Come on. I made I made like parcels. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do like meal prep, man. When I got home that night, I got drunk and I made so many roast beef sandwiches. It was delicious. I woke up and was like, I'm gonna have that for breakfast. <laughs> okay. And I looked at the bag and I was like, no, the bag's no good. I vacuum sealed everything, so it's froosh. We got the meat in the body shop. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if we were getting views like 2014, bro, we would have all been dressed like Sam Smith today. We would have all been in fucking balloon suits, like. And we'd be all the talking. It's like, yo, your balloon suit's a knockoff. <laughs> and then Muscles Glasses comes in with the sickest balloon suit. And we're like, yo! Yeah. Yeah. I started saying that recently just because of John Wick. I watched the trailer. He's like, are you ready? Yeah. This whole thing's crazy. What are we, what are we, this is like 13 years deep now? And like, I was joking, bro. When I busted out the camera and put the bacon on the thing, I was joking. I wasn't trying to change my life. All these bitches, and a couple of dudes too. I wasn't trying to do all that, but it went down. I took two years off doing nothing. So I guess that's why I put myself back in this boxing nightmare. By the way, I'm boxing John Morrison, Johnny Nitro, Johnny Elite. And I think about it right now, wherever he is, he's probably doing a backflip. But before that, well, I want something to eat. I'm talking about a Subway Big Mac special. That's the real Big Mac. Next to it over here, we got that custom Subway Big Mac that we made. We got the big long Mac. We got the big and girthy Mac. We got that thick and hung Mac. And check out the top. Look at the top button. Take in this whole thing. Can we get the chef out here? This was clearly built 
by someone who's passionate about McDonald's. This was my, my man's first job working at a McDonald's. And he worked there decades until I came and I saved him. Remember when I found you? I've been eating meat for like eight months. Oh my God. What a way. Really? Yeah, Is this how you wanna, you wanna do this now? I mean, if there was ever a time. I guess so. Meat's back on the menu, boys. Are you guys there next time? Next time we eat a stroke. Yo, before I was talking about that boxing shit sounded like a bitch, but I just gulped down some G Fuel, and now I got that dog in me. Huff, huff, I got that dog in me. Huff, I'm ready to box. I'm gonna fight. On April 15th, I'm fighting a WWE wrestler.